And so it's a Thursday morning, October 14th. And I'm still working on the uh, Drake, the uh, T4XB transmitter mystery. And I have low, I have really no way to use the tune function. It just doesn't work anymore since I had the big uh, 730 volt into 250 volt line mishap with the um, neutralization, neutralization capacitor. Anyway, I didn't find this resistor here, which I've put a new one in. That's a uh, 15K now. The old one had gone to uh, had gone to 20K. So that that basically feeds the grid of the uh, 12BY7 in uh, in tune mode. So yeah, if you look at that, that's right about here. So if you look at R25, that should be a 15K. And mine was 20. I'm not sure that's going to make a heck of a lot of difference, but that's the tune mode and. That goes right up to the uh, grid of the 12BY7. So I guess that's going to give it some more positive to make it um, to make it conduct more. I'm hoping that's what it does. So anyway, that's that. And in CW mode, it bypasses that resistor. So I figure that mode needs all the help it can get. The other thing I found was I couldn't really follow the uh, book two last night with um, unbalancing the SSB balance modulator. And... So I really couldn't book tune. I couldn't get anything really to work well in SSB mode last night. I could get a voice through it, but I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't unbalance the uh, modulator here to uh, do the carrier null. And so I find that there's a uh, one blown diode. So the balanced modulator has four diodes, and looks like this one in here that I've picked up the leg on it is uh, yeah right there. That one's uh, that one's shot. So. I guess I gotta get four new diodes to make sure they're all balanced. I'm not sure of that one, but hey, let's look, take a look at the balance modulator here on the uh, screen. Show you how that looks. Again, this is a Drake uh, T4XB transmitter. I can never say that right because it doesn't make sense why they would. I, I think you should call this thing a TX4B, not a T4XB. That always confuses me. It's not. Similar to how they name the other ones, like like a, like a T4, or I'm sorry, an R4B. There's always the number of the series. Anyway, here's the diodes, and I think the one closest to the tube is shot. Uh, which one would that be? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, these are, one of these is shot. And I should probably locate the one that is shot, but I guess it doesn't matter. So, yep, I'm going to replace that, and then see if the transmitter is, uh, is back in action. So I guess when I had the 250 volt spike. It blew out the uh, LED lights I had on this thing for uh, displaying the uh, displays and it must have blown this diode out. And I'm not sure if that uh, resistor got uh, got raised in value because uh, of more current through it. It didn't smoke it so I'm not sure what happened but anyway. Yeah so uh, the pilot lights in this thing for the uh, screen got blown out, so. And that fuse got blown out too, so the ANAP fuse blew, which is good. And let's see. I didn't lose any tubes, the filaments of the tubes didn't die out. But yeah, this resistor here was uh, definitely out of spec, and that comes right from the. Uh, the 250 volt line. So in tune position, they, they, they will apply uh, 250 volts here to the center, and then it will go out the resistor and feed the uh, grid of the 12BY7A. And in CW mode, it gives it B plus directly. So I think that's correct. We're in CW mode now. Let's CW right there. And there's tune. Okay, no, I'm wrong. So in tune, we give the grid a reduced value. And in CW, how does that work? I guess down at SSB, we give it full B+. Plus. Interesting. And in tune mode, we give it that. In CW, we give it nothing at all. So that's interesting. All right, well, I'm still learning tube technology. Are we learning it from the 60s? I would like to get in solid state later on and learn that stuff a little better. 
it seems like these days when you make something out of digital parts with integrated circuits and surface mount technology, you just buy something and you make it fit on the schematic and you throw it in there. So there's not much theory unless you're making the chips. All right, well, thanks for watching again. This is a little more on the uh, T4XB I'm working on here. I would like to get it perfect finally. It's getting there. And have a nice uh, transmitter for using in a station later on. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.